Hello everybody and welcome back to the Viveport Review where we take a look at newly released video games on the Viveport subscription service. Today's game is Rush. Rush is a wingsuit flying game where you soar down mountains, hillsides, and even through canyons. This game is available for both Vive and Rift and is $19 for those who do not have a subscription. There are multiple game modes available and even up to 12 person multiplayer. Regardless of what mode you play, they all boil down to mastering your flight controls and being able to maneuver as best and as quickly as possible. Luckily, this game has multiple control options and comfort levels, as I did not find the recommended options comfortable or optimal. I do recommend playing this game seated as I frequently felt off balance when standing. And for some reason, I just could not get the hang of steering with my arms. Plus, I was also getting a little bit of shoulder fatigue. And I quickly found the method of control and positioning and comfort level that worked best for me, which was seated using head tilting and with the comfort controls turned up just a little bit. Now, I don't think I necessarily need to turn the comfort controls up, but after playing with arm control standing, I was actually slightly nauseous and I really did not want to continue without feeling a bit more comfortable. But once I made these changes, I went from not being able to finish a race to instantly coming in first place. As you win matches, you will collect points which you could either use to unlock costumes or additional levels. I had no issue finding a multiplayer match, which is undoubtedly due to the fact that this game is available on the subscription service. These games tend to have a good player base, at least when the game first launches on Viveport Infinity. And if at any time you get bored of racing, you have the option to just go on free flights where you could just enjoy the scenery, which works out well because this is a nice looking game. And the races are definitely fast and fun, I wouldn't say they're exhilarating, but in a seated position using head tilting, I was actually holding onto the chair and actually really leaning into some of the maneuvers, and it is quite fun to play. Overall, the game seems quite polished, and if you are already a Viveport Infinity subscription member, I recommend you check out this game. If you have any interest in racing games or just wanna see what it's like to base jump and open up a wingsuit. Now, if you're not a subscription member, it's kinda hard for me to recommend the game at 20 bucks unless you really like racing games. I'm not the biggest fan of racing games myself. I feel like I would personally get bored with this game quickly. Multiplayer could be fun if you have a bunch of friends and you want bragging rights, but overall the game feels exactly the same, competing against AI or competing against actual humans. Jumping back to comfort level real quick, if you are someone who has comfort issues in VR, this is most likely not the game for you. Now, like I said previously, until I made those few changes, this game was almost unplayable for me. I was going to get uncomfortably nauseous rather quickly. Now, I definitely have my VR legs playing probably a hundred different games at this point. And while I will admit that I am a little sensitive to free locomotion, it's never made me nauseous. And the only time I've ever experienced any real nausea was when I had a performance issue with Lone Echo in Revive. So my VR tolerance is fairly high and this bothered me until I made some changes. Additionally, there is the whole height issue. While this game didn't invoke a fear of heights for me, it might for others. And if that's a problem you have, yeah, you gotta steer clear of this game. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed the review. If you're gonna check out this game, leave a comment, let me know. Maybe I'll meet you online. Maybe we'll play a few games together. And that's it guys, I will see you next time.